to go to the moon and lift the A and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Day actually, not too bad. My shell bounced off my bike two days ago though, so I'm without a rain jacket. So I am wet, but I was well. Uh, I'm about 40 k's, just over 40 k's outside of Kokomo. Set up camp here at some point soon and bike the rest tomorrow morning into camp and then get ready to do some hiking. I don't know if you can see that, but there's fog inside the tent. The mist, so damp, everything's wet. That's the floor of the tent. My socks are totally soaked. No chance of drying off or anything. Pouring outside, everything's just soaked. Kind of sucks, I'm really sick of the rain. Normally I don't have issues with the rain, but it's really getting to me, especially since I don't have a rain jacket. A little bit frustrated. All right, I just brought the spoon to my mouth with this snail in it with raisins, honey, and a peanut. And I put it to my lips. I thought, what on earth is that? It didn't make any sense for there to be something slimy <laughs> on my spoon. And it was this giant slug and I almost ate it. I had this bowl sitting outside to gather rainwater. And then when I put peanuts in here, and started scooping up peanuts with honey. <laughs> he got scooped up too. Ugh, that's awful. You ruined it. Ruined my dessert. Good morning. This is how I'm dressed right now. Wasp protection. <laughs> and now they finally calmed down a little bit, but they're still going pretty nuts all around my tent. But not the best way to start the morning with a bunch of angry wasps running around. Looks like they finally calmed down. For a while, I couldn't even come near my tent. Don't have any water at this campsite. So that kind of means no breakfast, no coffee, but I think I'll pack everything up lightly and bike 14 Ks and make, make a nice breakfast. You're a wise cat though, aren't you? Look at that hair from your ears, pretty pretty. I'm in the small town of Rio Puelo. Just cooking my breakfast here. I have some eggs with hot dogs, my coffee. I'm ready to go and as soon as you start cooking anywhere, you always make friends. This guy just showed up. Big surprise, buddy. <laughs> I'm enjoying some sun after yesterday's rain all day. Here's a kind of cool thing. When you get to small markets like this, they normally don't have somebody on call, but you ring the bell and the owner comes and lets you in. Look who's strolling around, investigating my cooking setup. You think it's cool, Gato? You like my cooking setup? I can cook anywhere I want to. Happy Gato. For two seconds. <laughs> I came along that shoreline right there. It's all Ripio. Now I have five Ks of pavement into Cochamo. Every time I've said it Kokomo, Kohamo, I apologize, it's Kochamo. I'm pronouncing it with the Polish, the CH is a H. Huh. Alright, here's a little village out of Kochamo. It's like fishing is the main economic activity. There are lots of salmon farms along the coast to here.
Que haces, caballo? This is a trekking trail. It's up at this face. <laughs> Here the, it's like a fissure that was filled and uh, the rock has this interesting geometric shape and it makes a nice path all the way to the summit here. 